If your uke is left handed, so again think of your position, and his leg is really backwards, it's quite hard to attack the chamata from here because uh, your behind misses your uke and the whole energy goes to waste. So with losing the grip and trying to attack Coach Igari, I'm forcing my uke to come in this position, which I'm very comfortable to, to attack Uchimata and lift him with my hips. Okay? So if he is standing in really left position, so here is too far to attack. Either I don't have the sleeve or he's trying to, to um, sort of hide his hand for me to catch it. I just, even if he's not holding me very good, I'm just trying to do this movement to get closer to him and to force him for us to, to, to stand in this position. Because from here, it's quite easy, easier to, to attack. Okay? So, up, I just move him up and try to get him in this position. So he is in neutral and I am on my red back, uh, right back. So, in my right position. Okay? Even though if I try to attack, I'll just move him again. And you, uh, as you saw now, because he is trying to catch his balance, his hand goes every time towards me because he wants to grip somewhere just to catch the balance. Okay? Look, again. Oh, he has to grip somewhere. And this is a very good position for me to catch his feet. Oh, oh. And when you catch his feet, now this is the perfect position to attack Uchimata. Okay? So, to attack Uchimata, um, it's important not to step too much in, uh, uh, inside, okay? If you are attacking left-handed. If you are attacking right-handed, but it's really difficult to do, is I step in my leg very much inside and then trying to lose the hips, but this will come afterwards. To attack Uchimata right-handed, uh, left-handed opponent, so you have to put him in neutral and step sort of uh, sort of make a triangle between his legs and the, the position of the next mark is here. So this should be a triangle and you have to step on this mark, okay? Then my left leg has to go inside, okay? In between his legs and of course you have to pull his your uke upwards. It's really important to, to maintain this position and keep your balance. So don't do like this, okay? Never bend your back, but always bend your legs. Your, uh, uh, your back has to be straight all the time, okay? This is not a very good position because from this position, you don't have enough power to swing with your leg. From here, then your leg has to swing. The other thing is very important is when you step in this position, so I'll just uh, use my UK to keep the balance, is how to swing with your uh, leg for throw. So the swing has to be like this. When I step inside, my uh, little finger has to touch the tatami and then go slightly upwards. And then when you swing, when you swing with your uh, leg, you try to keep it straight and your upper foot has to be facing the, the ceiling. So this should be the swing, up and then up and then trying to uh, turn your foot against the ceiling. So don't keep your hips like this. This is what many people are trying to do when they are throwing Uchimata. Also, I did uh, many times this mistake. The most important with Uchimata is just to turn the hips. You can see with the Japanese how they turn the hips, not only with Uchimata when they are throwing, but also with Alagoshi. Okay? It's sort of very similar throw to Uchimata. So, again, my uke is left handed. I made the. Uh, I, tr I tried to lose the grip. Even, even if he's still holding, and I just do this, and he's still holding, it doesn't matter. I put my uke 
in the right position to attack for Uchimata. So the first step is triangle in front of my pocket. I slightly turn my uh, dominant hand, which is going to swing, and then step inside with my left leg. So when I am doing this movement with my legs, at the same time, I have to use my arms as well. So it's very important when I go down with my body, so with my legs, when my legs are going down, I'm going um, under the, the balance of my uke, and at this time I have to pull him up. Okay? One of the important things is my elbow. If it goes up only like this, it's not enough. So you have to keep your arm, my wrist, has to be flexible. This is why I never hold a uh, lapel with all my fingers, I hold it only with bottom three. So my wrist can still move normally. And here it's sort of like fishing. Okay? This is the, the, the best movement to, to, to move your opponent and losing his balance, to move it forwards. Okay? My elbow has to go directly underneath his armpit. So from here, this is the best position. When you grip your hooket to get, get him forward, okay? He is already confused when I lose the grip and you have to catch this moment um, not to be too late because if you do this and then stop for a second, he's already gaining, regaining his balance. So with this moment of hook and directly, directly have to be um, one after another. So after this movement, you have to make good attack and just lift your head upwards and put your elbow inside under his armpit. Other hand is just pulling, pulling upwards. So my head is turning exactly like my arm does. It's like I'm looking at my watch all the time. From this position, I go inside and I'm still looking at my watch. Okay? If your arm is here, it won't be a good rich matter because Uke still has his balance. Here is not enough. You have to pull him forward. Okay? This is the best position to make a good rich matter. So from here, losing his weight, I step inside, go underneath, and you see my hips have to be under his belt. My belt has to be under his belt. If not, then he gets the dominant position. He, he kept his balance and I'm just running into a wall. And of course there will be no throw. So, from here I make my movement, go inside, my arm go, my arms both pulling him forward and now the important part is to swing with your leg. So up and keep this rotation in your hips. Okay? So, escape from the, the, his guard, his grip, make the, the right knee up and turn. It's really important. By keeping your, your stand here, you show that you have good balance. So, at the end, if you keep your balance with the Uchimata, that, that, that you reach the, how do you say, perfect score. Okay, again from the bottom. So, Uke is left hand, he's hiding his arm, not able for me to catch the grip. I escape, I tap with the coach, I escape, trying to get the grip inside and throw. One more time, from this end, so he's gripping, hop, go back. Either, you don't need to attack all the time with the Kochigari. If he's too far away, it's not a problem. And also, you don't need to do it only once. Try to make your uke uncomfortable, so he's not in the, his best position. Okay? And move. While you move your elbow and your wrist, you're also confusing him. Okay? And just stop. try to get his sleeve. And from this position, you go inside. And throw. 